Ooh, would you look at all that goodness? Oh, man. Old crank. Still not sure what I'm doing with it. New crank, zero balance eagle crank. Forged parts, parts, block. Y'all hang on and we'll go through this stuff. Block ten. So getting that doggone thing unloaded was uh, was a little tricky, but it wasn't so bad thanks to my forklift. You'd never believe I paid six hundred bucks for that doggone thing, but it has come in handy i have got my money's worth and then a whole lot more out of it i figured i'd show this part of it too just because well you know it's part of it setting it up on my engine stand um this takes me uh, all in all about five or six minutes i've sped it up here for you i double timed it um i love this engine stand dad uh gave it to me a couple of years ago well shoot it it's been had to have been in uh, 2020 because I had it for my 332 build in my fair lane um, it's really come in handy this is this will be the third engine that I've put on it and the other the second engine is still sitting over there in the corner waiting to be finished <laughs> I had to take it off for this one but anyway it's just a little bit you know behind the scenes look and as soon as I get through with this I'll go through my parts list and we'll talk about them a little bit
Okay, let's check this block out. So it's a 302 block. It's been bored, honed, line honed. So in other words, just in case you don't know, they took these holes out 30 thousandths more than uh, than stock. So it was uh, originally four inches and now it's 4.030. Okay, so, and then after they bored it, they went and honed it. They probably actually bored it to less than that and then honed it to final finish. They also decked it. So when you deck it, you take this surface here and you machine it completely flat. Okay. They added cam bearings to it, new cam bearings. They put in freeze plugs and oil plugs. And then that plug right there has a little bitty tiny hole in it to spray oil on the uh, cam or on, yeah, on the gear, on the cam and on the distributor. Okay, let's turn it over a little bit here. I got a little bit of a runny nose. I could have left it the other way, couldn't I? I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm gonna try to make it a little shorter. Okay, so you got some shiny new freeze plugs, more plugs. We'll check that one out. Um, they cleaned this block and blasted it. I'm, I'm going to go through and see all this. This is casting. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Junk. Um, see what I can scrape off by hand. And then I'm going to try to paint this thing. They put a new oil. Uh oil filter base in and then they line honed it and cut the caps so this right here all this has been uh trued made sure we were completely square here or completely straight down this and then they cut the caps and everything to make sure that i'm not that much over or I'm not over what I'm supposed to be. Uh, so let's back up here a little bit and I'll bring some other stuff out and show you. Okay, this was mine. It can't be used on this because I went zero balance. This is a 28 ounce balancer or it's supposed to be. Uh, new Clevite, making sure, um, MS590HXC, um, I'm pretty sure these are main bearings. So these are the main parent bearings and the seal, the rear seal. Uh, a set of rod, oh, there's my caps. They got my name there, ain't they? Got my caps in here. Well, that ain't good. See that nice pretty finish on these? So that's part of what they've done for me. And then should be, they've had this all out in the part so they could actually uh, use it to check everything out. And let's see what else we got here.
and looks like we've got rod bolts, I mean rod bearings here. And here's some of my old I think I need some, yeah, I need some uh, more stuff. But then they cleaned my pistons and checked them here. So they're looking pretty good. Everything's looking real good here. So. And the old crank, which it's heavy. I don't want to lift it. This is the old crank, which was, they wasn't able to ba balance it um, without, there was gonna be issues, and the new crank. Uh, so, now it's time to get to work. Hey everybody. I want to jump in here and remind you about the giveaway I've got going on. I've got two Vessel Stubby Screwdrivers that I want to give you. Um, I'm going to be giving, giving them away one per person. So I'm going to draw two different names and you're each going to get a Stubby Screwdriver. One of you is going to get this Vessel uh, Ratcheting Screwdriver. It's a 72 tooth. Pretty nice little deal. And the other one's going to get this regular Vessel Screwdriver. They're both nice screwdrivers. I like them both, uh, and I plan on giving them away. I'm going to put a link below in the description for the video you need to go back to and comment on. Uh, not this video, okay, for comments, but if you want to be entered into the giveaway, you got to go back to this video. I'm going to have a link to in the description. Uh, thank you all for watching. Go ahead and Listen to the rest of the video now. I'll leave y'all alone. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching. Um, follow along as I put this thing back together. It's going to be a series of videos, and we'll try not to make them too long. First thing I'm going to do is get my crank in here, get my um, studs in here, my main studs, get my crank in here, and get it torque down right and check it. Then my next video after that one is going to be putting one rod in and checking for my piston to valve clearance. So thank y'all, y'all take care and make sure you click that like button, subscribe and hey, if you, if you have some friends that might like my channel, tell them about it. I need some more uh, viewers. Thank y'all.